Welcome back everybody, this is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique, and today we're going to talk about how much weight you should expect to lose while you're dieting. Alright, it is Wednesday, we've got a bit of a gloomy overcast day. But whatever, we're still doing what we do, having a fantastic week. I hope you're having a fantastic week. So today, I wanted to talk about how much weight you should expect to lose while you are dieting. So this came about, I was actually just watching some sports this morning while I was eating breakfast, and a commercial came on, and it was a weight loss commercial. And it was talking about how their clients were losing up to four pounds a week. And that kind of got me thinking, um, you know, that is always such a huge question that people will always ask is, you know, when we're starting a diet phase, like, how much can I expect to lose? Like, how much weight am I going to lose a week? You know, when will I see results? And a lot of these diets that are out there, a lot of these fad diets are always promising huge weight drops within a very short amount of time. And I'm sure you've all seen those. You've seen the, you know, lose 23 pounds in 21 days. I think, you know, I did a... I did an earlier video, it was called the Woo and Pep Diet, and it promised people 23 pounds in 21 days of pure body fat, or, you know, just crazy numbers like that. You see that all the time. So people get really excited, they jump on these extreme diets, they lose a bunch of weight, they get off the diet, and then they put all the weight back on, and they go, well, what the heck, right? And then they diet again, they lose a bunch of weight, and so we go through this huge vicious cycle of them expecting to drop all this you know all this fat in a such a short amount of time and then just kind of expect it to be off was even when they saw the dieting and then they get into the vicious circle of continually dieting putting on more weight and then we get some body fat overshooting but that's not what this video is about so when we are dieting properly how much weight should we realistically expect to lose from week to week it's probably not going to be as much as you wish, but this is going to be the best way to do it. Trust me. So we are looking at no more than 1% of your total body weight per week. All right. So I know that doesn't sound a lot, but think about it this way. For a 190 pound person, it's about two pounds a week. All right. So I'm not going to say that you are always going to be continually dropping two pounds a week. But it should be no more than that. I think about half of that, so about a pound a week, is usually a really good solid diet for your general population person. Now, if you are, you know, prepping or going a little bit further, then, you know, you might want to see that trend maybe a little bit higher some weeks. But a good steady diet over, let's just say, 12 weeks to 15 weeks of a pound a week, if we could average that, Right, we gotta look at our trends. It might not be, you know, always a pound a week. The body will plateau at some point because the body will adapt to the, the the metabolism will adapt to the current caloric intake as well as the activity. But the trend should show, on average, about a pound a week. You're looking at 12 to 15 pounds, maybe more. Okay, maybe more. It always depends on how the person responds to the diet, how the body responds to the diet. But, I mean, if you're looking at that 15 pound, that's a huge difference for a lot of people, right? 15 pounds of fat loss is going to look so different for so many people, right? So that's only looking at, you know, the 12, 15 weeks. You could even push it maybe 20 weeks, push it a little bit longer if you are able to. And then you're looking at even higher amounts of fat loss. So why do we do, why do we not want more than 1%? Well, the biggest thing is, is we want to keep muscle retention, okay? If we get anything above that 1% on a continual basis, you are going to be seeing losses in lean body mass. And what we do not want is that, right? We want to get leaner and still have the muscle so that body composition will still change, right? So the goal is to lose fat, not muscle. And so once we start getting to those higher rates of uh, weight loss, you are going to see some of that muscle uh, decreasing. You do see that with uh, like bodybuilders who are going through prep is that they do drop 
some muscle along the way, despite even maybe even doing a slow, a slower prep over 20, 24 weeks, just because the body is getting so lean, it needs to take it from somewhere. So if we get going too fast, if we get in too much of a deficit too quickly, you're going to see, start seeing drop in muscle mass as well, which in my opinion, kind of defeats the whole purpose of going on a diet because you diet to look better. I mean, yeah, there are health benefits of having less fat, but a lot of people just want to look better. And so if we are, you know, decreasing our muscle, which is kind of going to make us look better once we have gotten rid of the fat, well, then we're just kind of wasting our time and, you know, not really getting the full benefits of, of a fat loss diet. So track the trends. All right. So once a week, you should be weighing yourself first thing in the morning, minimal clothing right after you've gone to the bathroom. And I encourage you to write that down and just track. Okay. And look at the trends and then you can manipulate either your calories or your cardio based upon, you know, your week to week. All right. So that's how we are going to continually lose weight is by increasing our activity, cardio. All right. And decreasing our caloric intake food. And as always, we want to make sure that our protein is high enough, which is going to help us really preserve the lean body mass, all right, our muscle, and as well as having good, intense uh, workouts that are focused on strength training. So I think that's going to be everything for today, guys. So make sure that you are not really getting above that 1% of total body weight per week. If you are, it's probably time to slow things down a little bit, bring it, you know, maybe increase your food slightly just so we, you can slow it, slow the roll down and get kind of to that half a percent, 1% of total body weight per week. So you are not missing out on all the benefits of a really good diet. So thanks for watching guys. Please hit the subscribe button, leave comments, ask questions, shoot me an email. If you've got any questions about dieting, I'd love to talk to you. Love to hear from you. Have a fantastic Wednesday.